If you are given the privilege to lead the altar call, be prayed up and ready. Think about how the main lesson point can only be realized through a personal relationship with Jesus and make that connection clear for the kids. You do not need to be too high energy to get the kids' attention during this special time. Instead, pray that God would give them attentive bodies and receptive hearts. Give a clear summary of the gospel even if you feel the children have heard it before. Use simple words like safe and loved as you present the gospel to them, not big words like salvation and righteousness. Give simple and clear directions such as raise your hand on the count of three to accept Jesus' love and forgiveness. Then make sure that you let them know you see them and count each hand. Assistant teachers should be praying as well and be ready to count and see who and how many children raise their hands. Lead the children in a simple prayer of salvation. You can say, thank you Jesus for accepting me. Thank you for forgiving my sins and taking my place. Please come into my heart and be my friend and my Lord. Amen. It's that simple. After the prayer of salvation, tell the children that they have four choices during this quiet time. One, they can go to the back and receive a book for new believers if they raise their hand for the first time. Two, they can go to the altar and pray and talk to God or have a teacher pray over them. Three, they can fill out a prayer card at the prayer table and all of the congregation will be praying over their needs. Fourth, they can sit in their seat and quietly worship God. Be sure to let the children know that this is not a time for socializing, but a special time for all of us to look to the Lord during our quiet time. If it is your job to give new believers the books in the back of the class, be sure to connect with each child personally, write their name inside the book, and tell them that you are really glad that they made this decision. Encourage them to talk to their parents more about it as they read the book together. See if they understood what they have done and be ready to explain further if they have questions. Don't be concerned if a child raises their hand more than once. We can't be sure exactly when God is convicting a young heart. Just encourage them in the choice that they made and tell them that they can begin talking to their Heavenly Father throughout the week. All teachers should be engaged, either praying with the kids at the altar, filling out prayer cards, passing out books, or just worshiping and ministering to the Lord with the children in the class. In this way, all of the children and teachers will be engaged in this powerful and fruitful quiet time.